I click the links to the alternative video platforms, Odyssey and BHU to order support channel. A quick blurb on as to forms of government. Aristotle has no one type to recommend as the best for all states under all circumstances. Monarchy, aristocracy, popular government, all have been administered to serve the public interests and all perverted to serve the interests of the ruler. To him, as to Plato, the word democracy had a calamitous uh, association with oppression by a rough and ignorant mob, eager to pull everything down to its own low level, like a one-man tyranny. Such a government is amenable to the good life, but the choice of government for any people must always depend on their own character and intelligence, the quality of their leaders, and the distribution of land, riches, and opportunity. Ideally, a government by the best and noblest man or group of men might seem the best, but a state that has a large middle class living mainly on the land, neither too rich nor too poor, and is governed by that class, is probably the most fortunate in the long run. No single member of that class may be so brilliant or so cultivated as members of an aristocracy, but their total aggregate of judgment and experience excels that of any smaller group. They are less easily corrupted and more likely to decide fairly than either the very rich or the very poor. The mass, too, of average responsible citizens are the best judges of the laws under which they live, as the best judge of a feast are not the expert cooks, but the men who eat it, and of a house, not the architect, but the people who live in it. Their government is least apt to stir up dissatisfaction and resentments, for the principle of it is liberty. Yet it is a liberty that goes along with obedience to law, since the final end of any true state is not to train its citizens to conquer and gain dominion over their neighbors, but to give them the means of a good life. It should, as one of its first duties, undertake the education of its children in public compulsory schools, as for years has been the custom in Sparta. In selecting the course of study, the chief point to bear in mind is that it should be liberal calculated calculated to enlarge and ennoble the child's intelligence and teach him how life may be enjoyed. Nothing should be allowed that vulgarizes or sets up utility or mercenary profit as a serious aim. When grown, the child will, of course, sometime go to war or engage in business. But peace, as has often been said, is the end of war and leisure of toil. The real test, then, of a people's education is not so much the way they work or fight, but the way they use their leisure. To show excellent qualities in action and war, but in times of peace and uh, leisure, to be no better than slaves is to miss the happiness that is the end of human living. Hence the importance in schools of subjects like music, which is studied solely with a view to leisure spent in intellectual activity and make the hearts of men glad. In one section of his long analysis of kinds and functions of government, Aristotle discusses the question of their longevity, ruling out overthrown um, by a foreign enemy, he asks, how long may the various types of government be expected to last? What are the causes of revolution and internal collapse in states? In general, he replies, they are social and economic, a sense of injustice produced either by a desire for equality when men think they are equal to others who have more than themselves, or desire for inequality or superiority when men who think themselves superior believe they are getting not more but the same or less than their inferiors. Under oligarchies or governments by wealth, the masses revolt in the conviction that they are unjustly treated, and in democracies, the notables revolt because they are not equal and yet only have an equal share. The actual outbreak of re revolution may be due to any irritating trifle, the insolent arbitrariness of a few officials, the flagrant avarice of a handful of rich men, or the spiteful rivalry of two or three popular leaders. Everything I read, <laughs> I could go through this book. It would take a year to go through, a, you know, a couple of page a day. Um, everything I read seems so appropriate today. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next episode.